Hey, this is Sasha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And what I want to share with you today is a quick insight to our options membership and what it's all about. So this is a little clip put together, uh, cut from different segments of the options membership class and sec session that we ran uh, not too long ago. So again, it might be a day or so old, but I'll give you an insight on what the options membership is all about. Now, enjoy this clip. Uh, if you're interested in the options membership, go ahead and take a look at our website at uh, tradersfly.com. You can go here and you can go to the membership section. That will link you up to our uh, membership website. And once you're uh, here, you can go ahead and take a look at the option ideas and strategies. And this is what it's all about. Uh, you'll get a sample clip right now and you can also learn more insight right here. And there's also a couple of sample videos as well right there. Now, for watching this video, I will give you a little bonus and discount. And what you can do, I'll just show you right here. Uh, when you scroll down, if you're interested in signing up, you can type in the coupon code, share the love, do it all together, and you'll see apply the coupon code. And it'll give you, um, I think it's a, uh, what is it, 50% off. Uh, the first month. So off the first month, you can get the first month half off and then it'll renew. And if you're not interested, of course, you could just go ahead and cancel before that time is up. So that's a little bonus uh, for those of you that are watching this video. Keep in mind, if you're watching this video six months later or a year later, the coupon code may not work. So understand that coupon codes do expire and they do change. And in that case, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So anyways, uh, one other quick little bonus is remember that if you go to the Traders Fly website, go to the Getting Started page, there's also an Options Trading 101 for those of you who are completely brand new to options. Anyways, enjoy the clip. I think you'll get a lot out of it and seeing what our member section has to offer. As far as my normal uh, trades go, uh, recently the, the market's been kind of, um, kind of at high. So if we just kind of, kind of take a look here at the S&P 500, and we just look at maybe the daily chart, you can see we've been ramping up pretty quickly. So here we've been uh, heading higher quite a bit. We've got resistance here overhead. And that's been a little bit of a, a, a problem uh, for me because I don't think things can continue moving higher with such huge unemployment. And as far as the macro view, I think we're in a little bit of trouble, uh, but the Fed's been printing money. So we've been heading higher and we've been holding steady, but I think we would have we were gonna have a, a pullback. And that's kind of what we had this morning, but it's trying to come back up. So I still think those problems are still uh, there beneath the surface. So what I've been doing is, uh, especially with some of these stocks that are over oh, overbought, um, I believe that they may be overpriced. I've been putting on positions like this. So I'll just show you here. They've been kind of diagonals. And the way I've been constructing these diagonals uh, is you can see they're shorter duration because they have a fast theta and a smaller vega. The theta is the biggest. So with a light, light rotation to the downside, this way, if prices go down, and volatility pops, um, I benefit from the volatility side of things. And here's another expo um, one that looks like this. So you can see here's another example right there. You can see this diagonal is kind of uh, also on the downside. These are great to do when the market's uh, moving high or moving higher or in the upward area. Uh, that's what I did in this case. Um, these, these stocks were at highs or uh, popped for earnings, uh, whatever the case is, uh, that's what I did. Let's look at uh, Spotify here as well. And here's one, uh, I'll share with you this one, how I created this one, because the other one had multiple diagonals overlaid. Uh, but you can see this one, um, it's, it's basically, if I look at this contract size 10 and 10, I've got the August 14th and the August um, 20th here, and it's basically just one strike difference. And with the duration here, if we look at Spotify, you can see I have a 15 day duration and the one I'm selling in a 22. So I'm basically just going one little, one extra strike to get that little bit of rotation and one duration uh, to get a little bit of positive Vega. This way, what happens is, is if this thing does go up on me and then with time, uh, this time decays pretty quick. So hopefully as it moves up on me, uh, the time decay works pretty quickly. So I hopefully don't get hurt as bad. That's the initial thought process behind the risk management that even if it does keep heading higher, that theta is pretty good. So as you can see this now little red mark right here, my break even or zero line, at least it may be keeping up with that even if prices do head higher. And then you get one day pullback and boom, all of a sudden this thing could really uh, 
explode and turn you into a profitable area. Here's another one with Zoom. You can see the same thing. And here, Zoom, um, we're, we're down, you know, two, two and a half, two point four eight uh, dollars right here. Uh, charts taking a second to load. We'll see it in just a second. Here is, let's try this one. There we go. So you can see we were pulling back a bit, uh, but here, here's kind of our resistance area. This, this is getting into a little bit of trouble right there. Um, so when you look at this, yeah, we're there. And I could almost put on the next one here because uh, I've already captured some of the profits from this because we were over here or something like that. It's pulling back and already, you know, I'm, I'm profitable. This is day number two. So that's what I'm gonna show you here in this video is how to construct this. And I'll show you uh, here, I'll go ahead and take these profits from this one in just a second but I'll show you how I'll go ahead and construct this. So I want to go ahead and go eight days and 15 days. If, if, if you want fast time decay, um, but you have a little bit more risk on price, like let's say it bounces tomorrow, that could be a problem. If you want less price risk, go maybe 15 and 22 days. So let's say, cause we're already down quite a bit. Maybe I don't want as much price risk. So I'll go like a 15 day and 22 and I will go ahead and buy a diagonal. Okay, so here's my example here. Even though this is a strong and powerful stock, I want to, you know, be mindful. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this over. So you can see this is right at the strike. Let me go ahead and do 10 contracts here. So uh, actually I'll do 11, so it's a different number than the 10 here. So what I can do now is I wouldn't do it this tight. I would move it over. So let me go ahead and move the short and the long a little bit to the to the right and that will give me um, a little bit more a um, little bit more range as I there we go uh, maybe I will move it over one one more like this and that now gives me a little bit more range because this one right here that I have it's already at the upper end or tip now it can still keep going but now I'm, I'm getting into a positive delta so be careful because your delta keeps te teetering off. Now, if the stock stabilizes, that's fine. But if we get a major downward move, even this position won't help me or save me too much. So I will actually get out of this position. We'll close the trade here. And let me just see which one is it in. It's probably in this account. And I will close that trade out. There we go. So take your profits. And now I will set up this new trade right here. And the whole point behind this is with such a fast theta, even if it does move, let's say up, and you're losing money on the delta, you have this theta of 62. So within, let's say one day, two day, three day, four day, now your price range is basically, you've got a range from 252 to 59. So you've already gained about eight points on the range of breaking even. All right, so there you go. Hope you got a good insight and quick glimpse into seeing what the options membership is all about. I really hope you join us by just going to the tradersfly.com website. When you're there, check out some of the freebies that we also offer and uh, go to that membership section and sign up. And this way you get some more insight on the current market conditions, how to trade it a little differently when the VIX is high, when the VIX is low different types of strategies you may take a look at some of the pros and cons of the different strategies and what may work a little better for you and your personal situation anyways thank you so much if you're brand new remember to hit subscribe here on youtube to join us uh, and that way you keep uh, seeing some of the new videos that we release or join our newsletter list by clicking the link over here thanks again and i will see you next time